Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Pwn Labs OS. But before we actually go about installing it, I want to just show you guys this platform as a whole. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. And as you guys probably seen in the last maybe month or so, I've been getting more into Azure cloud security. So why not start pen testing it, right? So if you're wanting to learn how to pen test the cloud, Pwn Labs is an awesome place. I've been tinkering with it, but I'm going to start getting more into it starting probably this week, right? So if you guys aren't familiar with it, you just go to pwnlabs.io, sign up. You know, I just log in with my Google account and you're, you know, you're presented with this dashboard. Obviously, I have the free uh, edition right now. I will probably be upgrading it probably someday, but at this very point, I only have the free version. So once you log in, you'll get CTF Academy Business Cyber Range Boot Camps, right? So if you come down a little bit, you can pick your team. Say, for example, if you're a red team or a blue team, obviously red team is more the offensive side, the attacking side, the blue team is more the defenders, right? And you can go here, what platform you want to test or defend. You want to do AWS, GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform or Azure. And then the tier. So do you have business tier, you have premium tier, or you do have the free tier. So if I come over to my next, my, my next tab, I already picked it. So say for example, I want to be a red teamer. I want to do Microsoft Azure. Let's make this a little bigger. And I just want to do the free version. So if you come down a little bit more, you can see the free versions of the labs on the left hand side here. And once you click on the lab, you'll see a little more of the overview on the right hand side here. So let's see, let's say, for example, you want to learn how to, I don't intro to Azure Recon with Bloodhound. You, you know, you want to learn how to re do reconnaissance against an Azure tenant. So if you click on this, for an example, I'm just choosing this. And then you can see we created a beginner friendly lab to showcase both the attackers and the defenders how to use Bloodhound and Azure Hound. Azure Hound collects, um, Azure Hound collector is to better understand the Azure environment and potentially, you know, abuse the relationships and the attack paths that may exist. So pretty much you want to see the abusable attack paths. That's what pretty much Bloodhound is. I always demonstrate or, uh, showcase uh, Bloodhound and I always say that it's like Google Maps for Active Directory. So in this case, it's going to be Intra ID because Intra ID is for the cloud for Azure. All right. So say, for example, you just want to learn. You can just let me pull this up a little bit so my big head's not in the way. And right here it says start poning. So if you click on start poning, you see the intro. We're not going to do this today because we're just going to install the OS, but I just want to give you guys a little overview and then you can just hit turn the lab, turn the lab on. Now it's going to start spawning and then the entry point, you download the VPN file, you have some credentials and you have, what does it say? Five hours to tinker with this, All right? So once you get the flag, you submit the flag and you hit submit. So if you come down a little bit more here, also suitable as a CTF approach, the scenario, you can see the scenario, the lab prerequisites, basic Windows command line knowledge, and then the learning outcomes, what you'll be learning. The difficulty is a beginner focus is more on the red team, the real world context. It's going to give you some context about the lab, the walkthrough. So say, for example, you get stuck, it literally walks you through everything. So if you come all the way down, I'm just going to jump to the end, it'll teach you how to install Docker and Docker compose. Pretty simple. Update your system, run this command. Uh, install Docker. You can also run this inside of your Pwn Labs OS, which we'll do. And that's where I'm going to be running all this. And then you en enable your Docker, you install Docker Compose, you run Bloodhound, blah, blah, blah. It literally walks you through step by step on how to do everything, how to access Bloodhound, how to collect the data, every single thing, you know, everything. And now if you want to go ahead and you know, login.microsoftonline.com gives you your tenant ID. So you should be good to go, right? So everything, everything is pretty much listed. This is Jose Rodriguez. This is the username and this is his password. It's pretty much pretty similar to, to, you know, regular Bloodhound if you're doing like on CTFs or engagements, but you know, you have to give the tenant ID right here, the listed tenant, and then it starts collecting everything from that tenant. Okay. 
Cool? All right, so that's enough with that one. So now let's go over to the next tab. So this is really, really neat. I haven't tinkered with this yet, so this is the first time for the both of us. So here we have Pwn Cloud OS, so the multi-cloud security platform for hackers and defenders. So we have it for you know ARM64, which is your Mac, and then you have it for VirtualBox and um, VMware Workstation. I downloaded this already. I'm going to be running it in VMware Workstation. Your image ID or your image password is Pwn Labs. And then if you have any questions, you can go to Discord and ask any questions there. Awesome community. Oh, there goes uh, Tyler. Awesome. Love seeing him. He's, he's, for the amount of years this kid been doing it, you know, kudos to him, man. He's killing it. And I'm, I'm proud of him, to be honest. All right. So just, you know, then you keep coming down. What is Pwn Labs OS? Uh, is Pwn Labs free? Yes, it is. It's just pretty much a Linux distro from my understanding. All right. So let's get this uh, party started. So I already downloaded it, like I said. So what I'm going to do is go to my VMware. I'm going to go to Home. Go ahead, let me click on Home. And then I want to go ahead and open up a virtual machine. So my virtual machine is, my OVA is already downloaded. So once I click on this, it should give me to browse out. And right here, it's probably really tiny on the screen. So it's my downloads, my last download that I downloaded. It's Pwn OS dash AMD 64. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it. <clears throat> Once that opens, it should start opening. I don't know why this machine just today it's been running really, really slow. And I rebooted, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's I don't know. It's a pretty decent machine, but I had it for a few years, so maybe it's time to uh upgrade my lab machine. Alright, so I'm just gonna put cloud C L U D dash hacker dash OS. That's just what I want to make it. You can make it whatever you want. Where do you want to put the file? I want to put it right where all my other VMs are. And I'm just going to import it. And once it starts importing, it'll probably take a few minutes to import. Once it imports, we should be able to open it, boot it up, log in. So let's give this a few minutes and we'll resume. Alrighty, so that took, I don't know, maybe about six minutes to import, at least on my machine. All right, so here it is. I'm going to go ahead and put a little star next to it. And here we have the device settings. So let's go ahead and just open up. Let's edit the VM settings. All right, folks. So I ran downstairs to actually reboot this machine. So <laughs> that's, uh, so let's see now. Let's go ahead and edit the VM settings. Yeah, there we go. That came up a lot quicker. So I want to give it 16 gigs just because I have the allocation. If you don't, just leave it as is you know, for eight gigs, but I'm going to leave everything else the same. I'm just going to move it to 16 gigs. Okay. So let's go ahead and power this baby up. And well, that's, I'm like out of breath because I was running. Um, so remember the default password is Pwn Labs, right? So let's, I just wanted to look at that for my own sake and it's going to go ahead and boot up. So let this thing cook and we can make this full screen just to, you know, Fill up the whole real estate and it's probably take a few minutes to boot up and it's just like a vm that you download you know from cali or parrot this is pretty cool all right so let's put the password is pwned p w a n d labs all right so that works now it's booting into the os so this is pretty neat so let's see what it's doing let's see let's go to menu i'm like i said i'm not gonna you know, do a full overview. I just wanted to show you guys how to install it and get it working. And let's bring this over here. And let's, what is this? Uh, incident response. Oh, this is a pretty cool thing. This is like a little, uh, I mean, cloud security engineer roadmap. This is really neat. Oh, this is really, really cool. So you can check out this and see what's up. I'm probably going to read this, but probably off uh, offline. So let's go ahead and see what's up. Let's go ahead and go to menu. And like I said, I'm focusing more on Azure. So this is pretty cool. So you can go right to Azure and like Bloodhound, Azure Hound. And if you probably click on it, it'll probably open up in the term. Yeah, I figured that. So let's open up this a little bigger. Let's see if we can make this a little larger. And the cool thing is like it gives you the example 
just like it did in the, you know, when you, when I spawn that machine up and it pretty much walk us through. So my recommendation, if you have two monitors, have the lab on one monitor, at least to walk through and then work through the exercise on your main monitor. That's normally what I do. If I'm, you know, going through some kind of walk through, if I get stuck, I'll have it on one monitor. That's just easier for me. All right, cool. So that's, that's pretty neat. And it'll show, you know, brings you right to, so if I do CD dot dot, probably right here into the, um, let's make this a little larger. And we can see like 0365 spray. I think that's from the mayor. I think that's his tool. O Three six five uh, user finder. That's another tool that I've used. O three six five enum, and this is cool because it's all in one single pane of glass. So if you come back here, the Azure, it probably show everything here as well. So that's pretty neat. So you can go to browser. Obviously, the browser is going to be Firefox or Chrome, AWS. All the AWS. Um, I don't have much AWS pen testing experience to be honest. So. You know, I can't really talk here. Azure is where mostly my bread and butter is. And then GCP as well. I have a little with GCP, but not as much. But this is pretty, this is pretty slick multi-cloud. So this is pretty much to test each of the cloud services. And obviously the terminal is for the terminal. This is really neat. I'm definitely going to go ahead and check this out. So that's pretty much it. If you guys want to learn more about cloud pen testing, cloud defending, check out Pwn Labs today and you won't be disappointed. I've heard nothing but amazing things with these, with this platform, with this OS. So that's why I figured I wanted to take you guys on the journey while I install it, while I get it set up. And that's pretty much it for today. So I hopefully you found it informative. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.